Welcome to another TBN review. I'm Sam Ince, and in this video, I'm going to help you answer the question Should you play Card Shark? Be sure to subscribe for weekly videos and head over to thebadnetwork.net for more gaming news and reviews. Set in France in the 18th century, you play as a young man with an inability to speak. You have been taken under the wing of Comte de Saint-Germain after a fateful incident leaves you with no choice but to flee from your hometown. The Comte teaches you how to swindle and cheat your way to riches in exchange for using these exploits to attain some deep and dark secrets from some very powerful people. And all this is being done through simple card games no less. This narrative is absolutely fascinating and has some real surprises up its sleeve. The more I learned, the more questions I had, and this made me deeply invested into the story. Before diving into the game's mechanics, I will mention that at no point during your time in Card Shark will you actually play a game of cards of any kind. Your role is to cheat in a way that favours your partner in crime. Whether that be through peeking at an opponent's cards and signalling through specific actions, such as how you wipe the table, how you hold a glass, or how you put down a card, to stacking the deck so that the Comte comes out on top. What's really fascinating about the various card techniques in the game is that they are actually based on real-world sleight-of-hand card tricks used by magicians and swindlers. However, much like the real-life versions of these tricks, these manipulations range from very easy to very difficult. Because not only do you have to ensure that you are precise with the card movements, but you are also running against a clock that is the opposition's increasing suspicions of your antics. Most of the gameplay is in the form of mini-games, which is where these card tricks take place. Most of the input sequences are also quite simple, but require you to remember cards, patterns, as well as move the deck around as needed. There are so many different techniques to learn. I would recommend practicing quite a lot of them, as you won't always be able to use the same ones that you have mastered early on. Aside from the card games, there really isn't much to the gameplay, with only the occasional side-scrolling section, which is essentially just moving from one side of a particular room to another to interact with a person or object. However, this is all that is needed for Card Shark, as the story is what drives this game along. Card Shark's art style is absolutely gorgeous. The monoprint design that has been used for the game really helps it to stand out. The stunning backdrops to each of the scenes are truly astounding, which makes Card Shark's visual design one of its best features. The music in this game is also fantastic. It sets the scene perfectly for this time period and has a great mix of elegance and ominousness, which mirrors what is occurring on screen excellently. So, should you play Card Shark? I would recommend giving it a go. This title is filled to the brim with intrigue and mystery. Its simplistic gameplay is enjoyable, but the narrative is where Card Shark really shines. It may be a lot more minimalistic in design, but its 8 hour playtime means that it doesn't outstay its welcome. Do you agree with our review? What is your opinion on Card Shark? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and we will see you in the next video.